Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to do a nice glowing sky or flashing sky effect. That's just called sunlight effect. Um, I will use optical flares and magic bullet looks for this. There are different methods to do this, but I'll just use these two plugins now. Um, but first of all, before we start it, if you want to see a preview, then just click anywhere on the video over here to um, to get linked to one. Um, and also, I really had no ideas for tutorials the last few weeks or so. So if you have any requests or anything, then um, just write them in the comments. Or also, I made a Facebook page, and one of the first 100 uh, people who like it will win some prizes. So yeah, it would be awesome if you could like it. Also, um, I post some exclusive content and photos there. Oh no, it would be awesome. And also, please follow me on Twitter. I'm so close to 1K. Um, okay, um, there are tons of different like options, like. I don't know, you could make this different colors, and with optical flares you have even more options, but yeah. Let's get started. Um, first of all, let me just delete both of these layers. Um, yeah, this would look better with um, with some nice, uh, combined with some other effects, maybe some glitch effects. Like, I already made made it zoom in and some RGB split, so I'm, I explained that in the diff different tutorial. I think it's called Syncing Effects Episode 3 or something. Um, yeah, pl please just go there and check out my tutorials playlist. Okay, let's get started. So, first of all, um, what you want to do is create a new adjustment layer, make it black, and I just call it optical flares, and then change the overlay mode to add. If you don't have this, just press F4. And then add the effect optical flares. And bring up the position to the somewhere on the top. So now you have tons of options. So please don't go there and like copy down everything I do now, because I don't know for this tutorial I used the pink glow effect uh, flare, but um, I recorded this tutorial two times, but it failed every time. So I already used this flare and this one and this one. So I don't know, but I'm pretty sure you can look beast with every single flare. So just play around with all the settings and stuff. So I'll just go with the evening sun, press OK. If you want to change the color, you can go to color and make this maybe blue or I don't know what you want, maybe like that, but I'll just go with the default color. So um, you want to go and find your spot where you want it to start, or if you want it to be there all the time, that's fine, but I want it to start after this shot because there's the drop of the music and it's also zooming in. So, but I don't want this to be there while it's scoped in. So, what you want to do is just keep from the opacity from 0 to 100. And then bring up the um, scale of the uh, of the flare and bring down the brightness a bit if you want to. But at the start, you want it to be really bright and then become less bright over the time. So, let's just keep from the brightness. Then go forward a few frames bring it down so that you can see what's going on and stuff. I think this is a bit too... let's just bring it up a bit more like that and then go forward a few frames again and bring down the brightness even more like that. Um, so this is already looking pretty nice but you may want some flicker going on so just go to flicker bring it up the amount and speed and just play with it around so it looks good. I'll just use these settings now. Um, so it looks pretty nice already. What we can do now is add an adjustment layer. Let's rename this into looks. And add the effect magic bill looks to this. Like that. Go to edit. Um, bad frame. So go to edit. And then add add the effect uh, gradient exposure just play around with the color if you want to and bring the stops up and let's just go, go with this color you could go there and bring this to, uh, to the right and add another gradient exposure and bring it to the left and maybe put it to a different color like that and another thing you can do here is add some diffusion just play around with all these settings so it looks good 
I really have no idea what I'm doing right now, but I hope at the end it will look good, so that's what you should do. <laughs> so you could also go there and add some anamorphic flares. Not really a fan of this effect, but if you uh, know what you're doing or just playing around, it looks good, I think. Like that, maybe. And then let's just add some chromatic whatever that's called, aberration and also another gradient exposure and bring up the stops again don't have to do this but I'm just doing it for fun <laughs> okay um that's pretty much it, you could add some more effects if you want to it's, that's not really necessary so just press ok but what you want to do now is make a, a mask. So you go to your rectangle tool, zoom out, and make a selection like this. And then uh, press F for feather and bring the feather up to maybe 150. So now you have the glow just at the top. So what you can do now is add some more effects to the top. So maybe some tint or something. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just. I don't know. So now it's black and white, you see, but um, if you bring the looks above that, you will still have the colors. So, I don't know, that looks pretty nice. Or you could bring the tint down a bit, maybe 50. I don't know, that should also look pretty nice. And then let's enable the optical flares again. <clears throat> so, if you don't want this effect to, effect to be there all the time, then keyframe the opacity. But I think this is okay if it's there all the time. I don't have a problem with that. Add some nice extra to the color correction. Um, okay, let's just preview this again. So yeah, please go there and uh, like my Facebook page. I post some exclusive stuff there. And also on my Twitter. Um, I'm so close to 1k followers. It would be really nice if you could follow me there and like my Facebook page. <coughs> So yeah, this should be a pretty nice effect if you combine these with with some other nice uh, glitch effects or whatever. I don't know. It will look pretty pretty neat beast. So yeah. Also, please like the video. That really helps me out. And if you have any questions right questions right now, then just write them in the comments. I really can't talk right now. I don't know why. <coughs> so. Yeah, never mind. I'll just link the preview <laughs> in the video. So, that's it, guys. Please like the video, and bye.